This section is solely about fascia and tools and different layers of fascia and how we use those tools. So there might be something that you see that you've got laying around the house or you could go to a local sports store. I'm not here to endorse any of these products. They're just things on the market that I use, that I use for my clients that have found beneficial. I do design my own tools and they're available on my website. Any questions, please reach out. Okay, fascia. So remember we talked about fascia. It's millions and millions of layers on our skin. It's everywhere. <laughs> I love these bands. It's, it's microfibered, it's layered, it's really, really stiff. So if you could imagine that we've just got layers and layers and layers of fascia everywhere through our muscles, attached at our ligaments, it is literally like steel. You could hang off it. Get all this plastic off me. Yeah. May they ban plastic. And remember fascia, the analogy I used, if you were to tease your hair up into a little ball, you wouldn't be able to unravel it. You've got to kind of pick at it slowly. So too, when we're pushing tools into something, by putting pressure into something, we can help bring a bit more flow, when we roll, we can roll out the fascia, we can make little circles, and maybe eventually we can get that fascia all beautiful and smooth again. Okay, these are the kinds of things I use for feet. Golf ball, a really sort of rubbery ball, something very, very hard but very small. A spiky ball for sensation. Very, very soft ball, maybe to pick up with toes. A medium-sized sort of soft rubber ball. Uh, sort of soft, mid-density foam ball. And then mm, the spiky balls that we've designed. We're yet to get them on. One's a little bit harder than the other. Everyone loves them. We use these for feet as well as hands. I'll talk more about those. Ping pong ball for reference. So these are the kinds of tools we use. You can see that oh, my hands are quite little. And then we have spiky domes. This was a course I did 20 years ago. Yamana Zaki, a woman in New York, body rolling. It was awesome. Now you can pick these up really cheaply now, but these were really expensive. I do these for stretching out the metatarsals into the arches of the feet. They're really lovely. And then foot savers even harder domes, they don't move, so now you can put your feet on those. And again, not endorsing her, but the shapes, just to try them, are fantastic. That's pretty hardcore, those. Feet, I would also use sticks to walk on slowly. That is a piece of PVC piping, so it's a little bit softer than the wood. So for hips, we do a very soft entry ball and a myofascial ball and then we get a little bit used to and there's my butt ball or my high density fascia release ball which we use for hips and legs and shoulders. It's quite heavy, it's quite dense, this is very light, this will soften. So if you're quite painful we start you on something like that, something soft, something even like a soft ball. Something even like a little cheap sort of spiky ball you could pop in there that's very soft. Your fascia will release quite quickly, your pain hopefully will dissipate quite quickly and then you can start to go in deeper. So we do want to go in deeper when we can. Okay, so if we were to look at back, we've got something really soft like a peanut. These are super cheap, very gentle. Very much like the Franklin balls we use when we stretch pelvic floor. Very similar shape. Back balls, high density, quite expensive. Two tennis balls in masking tape, super cheap. Lots of clients love that shape ball for shoulders, all sorts of things. Very similar to the new Franklin ball that's also shaped like that, that's got those little holes in it. We have a lacrosse ball, 
very high density. That's hardcore, but it's good. And of course, a cricket ball, high density. Glutes, hips. A cute little gadget that's got a ball inside of it, comes apart. Used to be really expensive, now they're really reasonable. Slots inside, really good for being able to just manually rub. Or if your friend says, I don't know how to massage, you give it to them and they can do your neck and shoulders. Oh, it feels really good on your neck. It's great, that little tool. Okay. Spiky balls. Anyone who knows me knows I've got a thing against spiky balls. Over here, they seem to sell the spiky ball everywhere like it's the be all and end all to everything, and it's not. I have a good selection of spiky balls. These are the mainstream $10 ones that everyone seems to sell. That's a bit harder, that's a bit softer, that's a different texture, that's a bit spikier, a bit smaller. There's my little high density ones. I might use that for feet, for nerve stimulation. I don't really use it for much else. I use these for hands and feet. Again, feet stimulation. Other than that, I don't really use them. So when it comes to uh, fascia that sits below the surface of the skin, for many women it manifests kind of as cellulite or a very shimmery look, maybe from scar tissue or something like that. So these are the products I've got for that sort of surface kind of fascia. Something quite gentle. <laughs> This looks like a killer, but it's not. It's just rotating blades. It's quite soft, and you can kind of get into little nooks and crannies. So it does desensitize quite quickly. Um, just a little cheap plastic thing. Actually, Black a Woman in America. This looks like a stick with tap handles on it. This is murderous, this thing. Um, you can sort of go to town in different directions. On your body I've seen people really bruise themselves it's like body scraping I don't think you have to bruise yourself really uh, I, I believe Ashley Black's history was she had um, double hip replacement so this would be really good for deep scar tissue this is an amazing bruiser so they, they you run this up and down your legs and the next day you've just got these random bruises everywhere so again that would be breaking the surface of the fascia so it just rolls and it's really owie uh, a piece of wood again we can use it we can go laterally over the surface i can use it down my shins down my legs on my feet this is more like a back massager to wooden balls dongers these were a set of two so you could ding, 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 they kind of wobble the fascia that's pretty full on we have a really reasonably priced surface roller that's really good for any surface of the fascia okay so when it comes to say foam rollers you've got your textured foam rollers which is the light density great for mid thoracic thighs if you want them PVC pipe I use for calves backs of legs Mainly calves, nice and cheap option there. Piece of cardboard roll. I might even use that for IT bands or calves so that I can manually get to it. So I, I'm not putting my whole body pressure down on it, but that I get to control with that. So too, I'm using small PVC pipe and stick. We've got a really nice piece of soft foam so I could lay someone down on that as a soft option. We've got the body bolster, which is air inflatable, so I can take air out of that. This is my gateway point to IT band, so this is what I will use for IT, and also back. So this is an awesome back neck uh, stretcher. And then the technology is going into vibrating foam rollers. Very expensive, but pretty awesome. And these go into three settings. It's pretty full on. Fantastic for mid-back. Okay, balls. I guess my favourite spiky ball is this orange one. It's a really, really hard one. Um, I love it for rolling on my upper back. It comes from Holland, apparently. Uh, the original ball stick select. I had a client bring me that. I love it. It wasn't cheap. Um, what do they call these? Pilates balls. They're sort of like big chi balls. They're great. They're a little big, though. Good for stomach rolling. 
holding between the knees, and then the original little chi ball, which is a lot smaller. Again, air inflatable, so they're really good to travel with. And of course, the technology is now coming out as vibration technology. And three settings on this one, high price as it's called. This is great ball for hips. Very vibrating and extremely vibrating. I don't use it at that height. So this is neck. So air inflatable body bolster for neck support. Hand mobilizer for massaging, scalenes, upper back and shoulders. Double black balls for holding at the base of the occipitals. I'll show you those. And a new thing on the market called a Donner Roll. I got this from my chiropractor. I tried to buy it online. They won't let me buy it unless I'm a chiropractor. This goes to my shoulder, my head goes over. And this is to emulate fingers going up into the neck. It's to bring the curve back in the neck. Fantastic. I love it. I would say these are the must-haves. Chi ball, soft, inflatable, use that for stomach, mid-back, great for neck and uh, relieving your upper back after being on a computer for a long time. High density foam ball for releasing glutes, side of pelvic floor, shoulders, upper back, super bounce high ball, shoulders, neck, mid-back, spiky ball for feet and hands, Air inflatable bolster for stretching out your whole spine, your neck, and also for sitting support. These are all really reasonably priced. I think these are around 80. I might be able to get them a bit cheaper. Um, these will be all up on the website. So we'll do a little kit, isn't it? A must have kit. Do not travel anywhere without a chi ball and a body bolster. And a super. So I will go through each body part and I will show you how I use all of these tools and how they might help you.